There are virtually endless amounts of bourbon options to choose from, but please stop overpaying. These five bottles are not worth the extra money. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the studio. My name is Arthur. And I'm Scott, and this is Artfully Bourbon. Some bourbons are worth a little extra over MSRP. Yeah, very few, I'd say. You don't need to pay marked up prices for a great bottle of bourbon. If you are new to bourbon or have been collecting a while, these five bottles we recommend not paying extra for. This first one I recently found for $70. With an MSRP of around $25 to $30. The Buffalo Trace Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. But it's from Buffalo Trace. I have to have it. Sure, Scott. I mean, we already have too many already, but we have never paid more than $30 for this bottle. If a store clerk pulls this from behind the counter as an allocated, just walk away. Even if it's not marked up, there is no reason for this to be hidden behind the counter. No, it should be on every single shelf for less than $35. All right, well, don't get me wrong. I have nothing against this. It's still good, but mm -hmm. it's only 90 proof. Yep. It's just not worth that extra markup. No. All right, what do you have next? This is the Henry McKenna 10-year single barrel bottled in bond. This one is coming back down in price, but I still see it every now and then for like $80. Yeah, or more. Or more. A good price, $60. I am not even mad as this has risen by $30 over the last few years. It's got a lot going for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, 10 years, bottled in bond, single barrel. Yeah. It's $60, it's still a great price for all of that. But the single barrel is what gets me. Yeah, lately these have not been the best. I've had McKenna in the past and they have been amazing. You think something's going on at Heaven Hill? I mean, what do you mean? Well, Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond is now all over the place. Mm -hmm. And it just won an award for Best Bourbon of the Year. And McKenna has become average at best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems a little fishy, doesn't it? Anyway, McKenna can be decent if you get a good bottle. It's just not worth overpaying to find out if you got lucky. I feel lucky. You always feel lucky. <laughs> All right, what's next? Next up, we got the Old Forester Single Barrel Barrel Strength. Oh, there it is. Those words. What, single barrel? Yep. I'd say this bottle is very similar to the last one in that regard. I gotta say, we've heard mixed reviews on this one. And being a little harder to find, the price for this can be twice as much as it's worth. MSRP for this is around $80. Yeah, I've seen it pushing 200. Insane. <laughs> Typically, this is a good bottle. Yeah, this bottle is 124 proof, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. It's a classic bourbon done right. Yeah, and what I do like is the variety you get from the warehouse and floor numbers that are right there on the bottle. It's fun to try different ones to see how they each compare. It is, but still, don't go paying more than $100. It's just not worth the markup. These are not going anywhere. More single barrel selections will be coming soon. Okay, give us your next one. All right, will do. But first, if you're enjoying this video or finding it helpful, hit that subscribe button. This next one you might recognize. The Blanton Single Barrel from Buffalo Trace Distillery. Yeah, and I collect the little horsey toppers. I mean, look at that little guy. No, please stop. <laughs> How much should I pay for this bottle? All right, I'll tell you, $65. You're funny. <laughs> there is no way I will ever find this for $65. That's what I would pay. It's average bourbon in a fancy bottle. But the Old Forester is 80 to 100. Okay, pay 
$80 max. Okay, but just for sake of argument, say I paid $200 for it. Um, I would say keep that secret from me and your wife. If I find out, this will be a one-man show. Okay, lips sealed. <laughs> All right, Blends is 93 proof, and we did a whole entire episode on better single barrel options. Yeah, check that out. Up here. Okay, I got the next one. All right. A weeded? This is the Weller Antique 107, the original weeded bourbon. This one, it's pretty good though. Some like it, some don't. It's not my favorite Weller, but it does come in at 107 proof. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Wellers, I think they should all be on this list. Yeah, maybe. They're all overhyped and overpriced, and that's coming from me, someone who loves a good weeded bourbon. Yeah, this one in particular, if you didn't pay marked up, should be available for around $60. But if you're lucky, you can find this for $80 on a good day. Or 100 or more. 200. Did you know that this was sitting on store shelves for around $25 about five or six years ago? You're kidding me. Nope. So stop paying for this relatively decent but overhyped bottle. Okay, I'll just stick to my maker's Mark Castro. <laughs> As you should. Okay, do you agree or disagree? What's a bottle that you think should be on this list? Let us know in the comments. And now is a good time to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss new Art Flea Bourbon content coming out soon. And while you're at it, hit that like button. All right, thanks for watching. Until next time. Enjoy responsibly. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, you can officially join us over on Patreon. Your membership will help us create more high quality content. Live streams, more access to behind the scenes, studio tours, so much more. With your membership, you'll get exclusive access to the Patreon only feed and early access to selected Artfully Bourbon content extras. You'll have the power to vote and you'll get a shout out and be recognized at the end of future episodes. And most importantly, you will be loved forever for supporting us. Please join us over on Patreon. There is a link in the description below.